this thing is pretty, isn't it? You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm Zach Minney with Flippin' Out Pinball Distribution, your favorite pinball dealer, am I right? As well as Straight Down the Middle of Pinball Show and the Pinball Network. You're in for a treat today. We've got Stern Pinball's newest, hottest, most innovative pinball machine in Stranger Things. And we're going to dial it up to about an 11 today with the help of their newly announced UV Lighting Kit Mod. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's available right now direct at sternpinball.com. It comes in the Pro, the Premium, the LE Edition. Just make sure to designate which model that you have at your favorite family entertainment center or even in your, your own game room. But I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step instruction process on how to install your UV lighting kit for Stranger Things Pinball. Now, essentially, uh, what's in the box? It comes with two brackets, one for each ramp. It's hidden. It's, it's nice and discreet and a new apron. The new apron and the brackets all have these UV lights and they react based on what is going on in the game. A certain mode, a certain moment, the upside down. Once that turns on, you see UV, beautiful bluish purple light shine throughout the whole pinball machine. Again, you've not seen anything like this, but the coolest thing about this game, uh, Stranger Things has a secret. A little secret that many of you may or may not know, but on the play field of every single Stranger Things pinball machine is artwork that you can't see with the naked eye. We can't see it in normal gameplay. Heck, right now you're looking, you can't see it because it's UV reactive. This UV lighting kit during those modes will shine that UV and you're going to see artwork that you cannot see otherwise. In the kit is also included uh, plastics, plastics that are UV reactive. You're going to see things on plastics that we can't see with the naked eye either. So come, follow along, join me as I walk you through the installation process. It's not too hard. It's easy. We'll do it together. Let's go right now. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. During the installation process, we have to pull up the apron to put in that new apron that has the lights in it. But it is a great time to refocus and calibrate that projector. I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So without further ado... Let's see what's in the box. All right, so here's everything. We've got the apron here, the hardware, the PCB board. We also have the eight plastics. They have a protective film that will take off, as well as the metal lighting brackets on here. And remember, we've got lighting throughout this mod as well. This is why it's important to make sure you get the right set based on whether you have the Pro or the Premium LE model, because the Premium LE has a metal apron or arch uh, assembly. And it's not going to mount on the Pro, and vice versa. The Pro will not mount on the Premium LE, so make sure you get that right. First things first, you're going to want to take out the Playfield glass. You do so with the latches right under the lockdown bar. There's one over there. There's one over there. You lift this up. Always make sure that your glass doesn't slide out from under you. Close that up. Pull the glass out. Keep it level. And don't break it. Now that the glass is out, we're going to use this as our handle, lift up, pull out, and let it rest on the support brackets. Another good idea is to always have a towel in place handy, whether it's on a, a side machine or a table, or on the pinball playing field itself, so that you can have tools and it's not scraping up your play field. Alright, step number one is to take the new plastics and replace these older inlaying plastics. The new plastics have a protective film on them that we're going to have to take off. There's that. And we're going to reinstall the new ones on here. Always make sure to take your old ones, wrap them up in a nice place, maybe put them in the coin box so that you don't lose them. Whenever you're tightening down these screws, you need them to be snug, but do not over tighten them or you risk breaking this plastic. Go back and forth left to right to get you evenly distributed and snug without over tightening. One of the biggest mistakes new people make is they over tighten these plastics and they break them. Then you have to buy another set. In the next step, we're going to remove this left ramp and we're going to set it to the side. This is done by removing four 
screws. They're all on post, so it's not too, not too difficult. Again, make sure whenever you're taking these off that you put these pieces where you're going to find them. Maybe, if anything, take pictures as you're taking all of these pieces off so that you know how to return them. There's one, two. So, so far, right, this isn't bad. All of these screws have washers, so make sure not to lose those as well. One, two, three, one back here, four. You'll lift up this ramp. I set it to the side a bit. All right, the next step, they want us to replace the left slingshot plastic as well as left number five plastic that goes right there. I've already uh, taken off the protective filming on there. It looks as if they're wanting us to do the left side and then follow up with the right side. So to take this off, Take that nut out. And then that post. Now there's a washer on there, so you gotta make sure. What I like to do is set these washers by the part itself so that I know a washer goes on that side. Now here's a pro tip for you. As we're removing that, we could replace this with the new plastic, but as light is distributed underneath that, you're always gonna have these metal, see these protect the ball from chipping this plastic uh, right there and there, which is nice to have. However, light does not pass through there. So what I like to do is remove these and put clear Lexan washers in there so light still emits through. And I will do that at a later time. So again, our washer goes right back there. And on these, honestly, just a hand tightened is actually pretty good. But on those nuts, again, cannot stress it enough, do not over tighten there. See, nice and snug. Number five plastic looks like it's got two nuts on it. Stop it. All right, two nuts are out, out with the old, and in with the new. We're going to stay to the left side and replace that long left plastic right up here. The trick on this one is that there is a plastic shield that also needs to come out. So we're gonna take all of that out, then take this plastic out and replace it with the new. An all-in-one tool like this is really nice because a lot of your common pinball parts uh, will either need either one of those sockets or a screwdriver uh, in the shape of a Phillips head or a flathead. Out with the old, in with the new. Remember to guide this wire through that. Put the stand-ups back in as well as the washers. And we'll put that plastic piece back in there. Come on, there we go. Again, wire guide right through there. As we'll see in the installation process here, it's not so much that any of this is difficult, it's just taking your time, doing it the right way. Ta-da! 
Our next step is to remove the right ramp and lay it to the side. This is done with three screws. And then for ease of install, I'm doing this on the opposite side so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I would probably do this on the same side as I'm on. All right. There we go. It's kind of out of the way. Now we're going to replace the slingshot plastic next. Next, we're going to replace this plastic with the bat on it and the smiley. Alongside here, we got two screws, a post, and a screw. This particular post has two, two washers on it, so sit it right by your post so you can remember that. These are going to be longer screws here. Really long screws. Oh, because they have... Uh, they got studs on them, okay. I'll show you what is different about these. They have plastic standoffs on the bottom side of them. It's gonna take a little bit more time to get them out. That washer's on there, we're gonna leave it for now. There you go, oh, the double twist technique. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Huh? You know, I'm a pro. Pro at this. Until I'm not. Makes your fingers strong. Okay. Now. That's that washer I was worried about. Okay. Now, you're going to have this, this plastic standoff goes kind of into this. So I had to kind of pull it slowly. Same with this right here. We're gonna get this washer off of there. That washer off of there. Okay. Now, has a stand up, see? So we're going to, I guess, just slightly turn it and it'll come right out. Come right out. Now we're gonna put the stand up back in there in the same way. Give it a slight turn. It should go right in there. Same with the one down here. Oh, I put them in the wrong spot. Come on, baby. You can go in there. Here it is. And then I'll get fingerprints all over these plastics. So at the end of all of it, you wipe them down. Looky, looky, who's got a cookie? Remember, this double washer went on the post. So I'm gonna do that now. And then these long screws with a single washer. Now you could use power tools here, but I'd really recommend you don't. It may make the job go quicker, but over torquing and stuff. You guys ever do that on the weekends? Over torque at the club? It's just, you're setting yourself up for problems. World's longest screw! Next, we're going to replace this last plastic. Only one left! You got one nut here. Another there. All right. And with the new plastic. Remember that has a wire guide. Right there, so you want to make sure it gets through that. Replace the two nuts. And just like that, all of our UV reactive plastics, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, have been replaced. All right, gang, our next step is to replace the apron here. Now, on the Pro model, 
there's going to be two screws, one under each of the apron cards. On the premium LE model like this, there are going to be uh, a nut with a screw right here, right here underneath the play field we're going to have to get from the bottom, as well as in front here, the two screws. All right, guys. Now down here, we've got, uh, we've lifted the play field out. There's two screws, one of them right there, one of them right here. We've got our socket, remember? We're gonna remove those. Now you could lift the whole play field up, but I find this to be an easier method to do it. All right, now what's left are these front screws and then your apron will come off. All right, now when we're lifting the apron off, there are two pins right there. You just don't want to let those scratch your, uh, right there. You don't want to let those scratch your play field. All right, now I told you we would adjust this projector just to make sure that it is the sharpest that we can get it to. All right, you see right here, let's see if I can zoom in. Here. So you see this, there's a little nut there. You're gonna take this off, and this is basically the lock, there's a little wheel in there that you're gonna be able to go left or right in order to focus it. We're gonna take this off, adjust the crispness or the sharpness of the picture, then we're gonna put this back on, lock it into place. This comes out, a little sponge on there to hold it into place. Take my word for it, there's a little wheel here that we can go back and forth. And that will adjust your picture on the screen. All right, now with the game turned on, I can adjust this wheel and watch the picture. See, that's way out of focus. You can turn it, it was actually in focus pretty well, see. Dial that in, and it can be a little finicky. That looks pretty clear right there. Now the trick of it is to reinstall the uh, what holds it into place. I'm going to reinstall this, but here's the trick. Try to do so without moving that wheel again. So I like to go there. Go straight down, not to move it, and hold it in place. That way when you turn your game back on, it will not have adjusted. And that's as simple as it is. Refocusing your projector. Okay, now that we've got the old apron out, here's the new apron. You're going to see the difference is there are UV lights mounted on the inside as well as cords hanging off. This powers the system and sends the signals. So what they're gonna want you to do is line it up. There's two holes in the play field. You're going to carefully run those wires through on each side. Now we're going to remount the two front and the two bottom, just like we did when we took off the original. Having fun yet? Whoa, whoa, earthquake. And as you'll see, our cords are nicely routed out of the bottom. We'll use those to connect later. Now those are pretty snug. Now here's where you're gonna learn from my mistake. On this, you're gonna replace these cards, put them into the new one. Anybody see what I did wrong yet? Huh? Yeah, you're right. So on this one, this is my Ellie. It's got that beautiful Brian Eddy game designer signature, but on this one, it doesn't. So 
Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you guys the time, but I'm gonna go in. It's just three, three nuts. I'm gonna go in, pull this back out, and replace that because I want my, I want my nice LE. All right, our next step is to take the LED or the UV LED metal bracket and mount it to the side of the ramp. Now the cool thing is that there's one, two, three screws that we put in to mount this. You gotta get in your hardware kit uh, that comes with that kit, a screw and a washer, a screw and a washer. But remember this bottom one down here does not need to have a screw and a washer because we already have an existing screw and washer for this post here whenever we install the rest. Uh, an important thing to take notice that there is a wiring bracket that needs to go through this hole over here where this flasher goes. So we're gonna route that kind of right now. All right. That way we don't smash too much of it. We can pull that back through. What I like about this mounting system is that on some pinball parts you're, you'll have uh, you'll have like a nut on the other side and it's damn near impossible to hold this and tighten it. Oh, I remember the old Bally Williams, the flashers. Like even these flashers are kind of like that where you get the nuts. That's a pain. This isn't. This is easy. It just goes through one spot. Thank you, Stern. Look how simple. Told y'all you could do it. Okay. Now the next step we're actually going to mount, we're gonna mount this ramp back where, it's, where it belongs. Now I'm gonna show you guys something back here. I'm gonna move the camera. There's an important tab back here that needs to go under uh, the other tab or it's not going to be right. Let's do that now. All right, so before you install this last ramp, see there's a tab here that needs to go under this other piece of plastic. So make sure, just like that, perfecto. That way when the ball rolls, it rolls on top rather than getting hung up on that tab. Just wanted to point that out. So we've got, again, we're installing one, two, three, four screws. Our existing screws that we took off when we originally pulled up that ramp. We'll install that now. Remember your washers. We're almost done. That's it. Now, Mike Vinicor said 20 minutes. Eh, I don't know about 20 minutes, Mike. But, not much more. Especially as you're going through it with me. Time flies when you're having fun. I can't wait till you guys see this effect. <laughs> it's so nuts. And if you guys don't want to buy one, I'm gonna warn you right now, you probably should turn the video off because you're gonna want one. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to help it. You're gonna want one. Okay, in a very similar manner, we're gonna take the LED bracket over here and mount it to this side. Remember to make sure you don't bind this up. This one's gonna go right in this hole. Might as well wrap it now. You're gonna have three mounting positions. One, two, three, but this one you're not gonna use because we already have that post when we return to the original. All right. This is not gonna go on there without just a little bending and that's why these things are a bit flexible. So I'd start with the back. Now just as we did with the left ramp, we're gonna reinstall the right ramp. And on the right side, uh, on this incline there, there's gonna be a metal tab. The plastic ramp, make sure that goes under the metal tab. So now this one needs to be bent just a little bit, but it's good. The UV LED lighting brackets are now installed. Our apron is installed. We're gonna lift the play field now, hook up that PCB board, the wiring harness, then we're set. 
All right, now we're gonna lift the play field up, lift it up with two handles here, pull back till it stops. Do not keep pulling or that play field will drop into the cabinet. Also make sure that the balls have been taken out. Lean it up and rest it on the back box. There we go. Now we've got our PCB board unpackaged. You're gonna see a bunch of wires here. There are four spots, four screws, uh, wood screws that are supplied in our hardware. We're gonna mount it over here where you're gonna see the four dimples. I don't know if you can see them on there, but there are four over there. That's where we're gonna mount this. It's also important that we mount it with C and one, this connector right here facing down, just like that. Right? All right, once you unravel all the wires here, you're gonna see there's gonna be one, two, three, four plugins. Easy thing is, there's one, two apron plugins up there and one, two uh, playfield plugins. So this is gonna be simple. Find your four dimples right there. We're gonna mount screws as follows. It's important to find where those dimples are at because if you don't, you could be coming up on the playfield somewhere and that is not what you wanna do. I'm just getting those screws started for, for right now. That way I make sure that each one of them is going exactly where I want it to go, where the dimples lie. And when you're mounting these, they're going into the play field, but they don't, I mean, they don't have to be, it's not holding much up. It's just this board so that the board doesn't come loose. So don't go, again, not a power tool. You do not need a power tool here. Don't go grinding this thing in, you're gonna be sorry. Now you remember from when we mounted the metal LED brackets that, remember we, we fed those through, and over here, we fed that through. These are good. Uh, and then the apron, one up here, if you can see that, and one right here. Now, this is simple, all you've gotta do, Brown and violet, brown and red, brown and black, brown and white. It tells you exactly where to plug it in to that board. And see, these two aren't as long, so you know this one's going to the close one, this one's going to the one over here. The two longer ones are gonna go up here, one short, one's long. They make this thing so simple, but we still wanna double check. Brown, violet, up to the top left. This is brown and red. Matches up with brown and red up here. Snap it in brown and black, which goes to the brown and black. You just want to make these wires as neat as you can when you're routing them. And that's what the zip ties, the zip ties we're going to come in and zip tie like this one I'm not happy with, so I'm going to undo it. I want to go under this mess so it has more slack. See? Just like so. A lot more slack, I'm happier with that. I could even go under here to prevent it from ever getting caught up in this drop target assembly. Same with that one. Right there, that's good. Hey, this one's easy, look at that. Bam! All right, now I'm gonna take zip ties. I'm gonna come in here, zip tie them to clean up this stuff here. And see this one, I'm not happy with this one. I'm not happy. All right, now we will zip tie it all here in a minute and clean it all up. But for now, we're gonna go back to this board. On this board, you're gonna see, I don't know. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. We've got a plug here. There's gonna be a plug on the other end over here and then a plug down here. These are already mounted into your, see? They're already mounted in here. They come existing on your game. Look at that. And you just follow which one goes where based on the instruction manual. Connect the two pin connectors, the one five can connectors. Boom, bada boom, 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 and boom. Simple. So this is basically like the left and right one there. Let's put them back through here. You just want to be careful when you're plugging these in because the pins that are on the board, they can be fragile and you, you break one of those off. You have to get a new board or solder on a new one. It's just not fun. All right. Now we're gonna get power to go to that one. 
All right, now to find that plug-in, it's hidden up here, see? And it does have a zip tie, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to get down there. So I'm gonna have to cut this zip tie and then pull it back down. Using a side cut, you can do so, but when you go to cut, just make sure you don't have any other wires. Or again, you're not gonna be a happy camper. And then you'll see there's three pins, a blank, and then a pin. Just on this, three pins, a blank, and then a pin helps you line up how it's supposed to go. Now let's zip tie this thing up, clean it up a little bit before we lower the play field and try it out. I don't know if you guys seen on that last shot, but basically this plug-in was up in here and I had to zip or cut a zip tie there so I could pull it back in. It's not being used up here, so you know that's the only connector not being used. Cut it, feed it back down here, plug it in. All right, guys, everything is set, everything is installed, everything is wired, everything is cleaned up. We have successfully just installed Stern Pinball's UV lighting kit for Stranger Things. What we're going to do now is lower the play field, go into the test options, and we're going to test the UV lighting out before we start a game. All right, next step, the play field is down. We're going to open up the coin door and go through a menu. There is on the newest code, I think the last couple codes, the UV kit, uh, there is a test setting in there. The one thing you want to remember to do to test that, there's an interlock switch on the inside. Let me show you right now. As we open up the coin door, see that there's a button back here. Now, when the coin door closes, it tells the system, hey, Nobody's got access to it, so high power can go on. When the, open, when the coin door opens, like a refrigerator door, shuts the lights off, i.e. shuts the high power off. Now, we're going to need that high power to test. So just like you test coils in a game, the coils are not going to run like this, even if we go through the test mode using these buttons over here. So we're going to take this, and you pull it out towards you, and you're in the test situation now using these buttons, enter. All right, we can go into adjustments, feature adjustments, UV kit. It was on no, I put it to yes. Then we can go, whoop. Diagnosis, lamp, UV test. There's the right side it's on. And when we're going, we're looking that these are these are on as well as the aprons those are correct now we're going to go to the next one the left side left side is firing on as well as the left side apron and it is successfully installed i want to play <laughs> all right everybody let's see the uv lighting kit uh, keep in mind it's going to be a little loud because the glass is off Check that out. All right guys, we did it. We made it. We installed the UV lighting kit and I told you how badass it was. Remember, if you want to buy one of those kits yourself, you can buy it direct from Stern at sternpinball.com. And if you're ready to actually Buy one of these for yourself, a Stranger Things Pro Premium or Limited Edition model pinball machine. Please give us a shot at flipping out pinball. You can call 812-457-9711 or email me directly, Zach, Z-A-C-H, at flip the letter N out pinball.com or just go to flippingoutpinball.com and order one for yourself. You deserve it. Treat yourself. Why not? I know I did. All right, now we're going to lift this play field using the handles. Pull it out till it stops. Don't keep pulling. It will fall up, uh, into the cabinet. So pull it out. Go up with it. Take the 
balls out first. <laughs>